baby, baby. Episode 123 of Touchline Run Podcast. We are going to preview the Premier League games that are coming up this weekend. They've been a bit sporadic of late, but they are dripping back in somewhat. So we're going to have a look at them to doing a little bit of a Premier League roundup. Well, FIFA Ultimate Team, we're going to look at that, ultimately. We're going to look at FIFA Ultimate Team. We're going to discuss problems of gambling, because it is an issue, and no one talks about FIFA Ultimate Team. We're then going to look at stupid things that footballers say, and then we're going to go on. Anything else? Music. Just want to say to everybody who may not have listened to last week, pop back and have a look. Yeah, there's some new. We, we never do this. There are there will be some people who will just check out this podcast and won't have heard any of our previous episodes. Our last week's episode was with Rodri Jones, who was uh, ex player for Manchester United. He was brought into the youth system uh, during the 1998-1999 season. Big, big, big good season. year for Man United. That Decent. was. So he talks about what it was like being at a club managed by Sir Alex Ferguson. Uh, while, Interactions. Yeah. While there was players like Roy Keane, Ryan Gates, David Beckham, Chad, Josh Goals. Chadwick. Luke Chadwick. Formation. Yeah. They are... Uh, it's a very good episode. He also talks about mental health, his own struggles with it, the work that he does going forward. It's really good. Go check it out. So yeah, it is we had a chat. Listen. So we did have a chat. So that's episode 122 with Rodri Giggs. So if you did the Rodri Giggs. It's not Rodri Giggs at all. Rodri Jones. That's a slipper. <laughs> Imagine if we did have Rodri Giggs. Right, Rodri Jones. Can we do that? Can yeah, that? we might be able to get it. I don't know. Um, guess of that that gambling coin that he, he has. Right. I think, put it, write it down. Does that know that they're trespassing? I said no. He goes, well, they are. He goes... Public footpaths at other side at Wood there, he says, but I'll let thee off today if they're lost. He said, where are they going? I said, I'm going to uh, cock in where my car's parked. He goes, right, down that road there, turn left, turn right, walk about two mile and you'll come to it. Anyway, we had a good chat. He was a Barnsley supporter, thinks they're getting relegated. I hope not, because it's my hometown club. But anyway, it was a good chat, good laugh. And these are kind of things that happens when you get out and about. How do you feel about the winter break? Baby, baby! Okay, the winter Where break. Where do you stand on it? Where do I stand? Do you think it's beneficial? Um, it's not really and a who, winter break. Who, 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 who wins? Who benefits it's not from really it? a winter break. As far as I'm concerned, the winter break should be like they have on the continent, in that every team plays a game on a weekend, and then two weeks later, the league resumes. If you're going to have a break, do it properly. The Premier League has decided to almost drip feed in a winter break because they're telling me they've packaged it as a winter break. They're telling me these teams have had yeah they've had a winter break, but Sheffield United played. Do you know what I mean? It's like these games are scheduled that Everton played, so it's not technically a winter break. Albeit, I know Everton are playing this weekend, so they'll then get their break. But I can see what they've done because it's still it's they're trying to make it good for the consumer as a product because the games will still there will still be certain games on and they're trying to make it good for the players in that they Those do teams get have time no off. excuses now do they no but what you need to do if you're going to have a winter break do it properly i don't know why they have to dick around with the format it's there spain do it germany do it if you look at the last liverpool game as well where they just put their youngsters out mm-hmm. and now they've got two weeks fully of mm-hmm. recuperation They've really utilised that into their schedule. Okay, well that leads on. Like before, before we move on, actually nicely, just Arsenal Newcastle. Do you think Arsenal will win? Yes. Okay. Um, I Only can see this to. being a draw. But, um, the right going on from the winter break, then Liverpool. That leads on nicely to Norwich City versus Liverpool. Um, Norwich at home. Norwich are at home. I don't think it matters. Um, I think it could be in Pookie's back garden, and I still think Liverpool will hammer them. Uh, Liverpool are unstoppable right now. So I don't really want to talk about it too much because, uh, to I be think, honest, I don't think what else I, we can you know, say about I think Liverpool. that'll be a little surprise thing. It just throws me off when it's like a, like a 5.30 kick-off. Yeah. So I, I just think it, it'll be a tight one. Maybe Liverpool squeak a win, but I genuinely think it might be a draw there. I, I can't see 
so far, Liverpool have only dropped points to Man United this season. But after a I break, can't see Norwich being after, the other team. After a break, it could be one of those things of just like feeling a little bit rusty, losing your momentum a little bit. Could be, or Liverpool could be rested and be brutal. Either one. Either one. So they're going to be. Mm-hmm. I ca- I can't see. I can. Chelsea Spurs. Chelsea Man Segway. United. Do you mean Villa versus Spurs, or do you mean Chelsea versus Manchester United? Chelsea. Tottenham. You made up a fixture there. You can't just make up fixtures to make the preview more exciting. Well, okay, let's do Villa Spurs then. Jose Mourinho, newly bolded. <laughs> fresh, <laughs> fresh bolding. Fresh, buzz cut Jose mm. coming up against the uh, the anti buzz cut Jack Grealish. Um, uh, it's an, uh, I think Spurs are another side that have flattered to deceive somewhat. Yes, they have turned around their form. Yes, Mourinho has got them playing better than they would if Dennis Pochettino remained in charge. However, but Grealish can turn a game. Grealish can turn a game. And Tottenham are still looking, they're not, they're not looking a machine, are they, by any stretch? You know, they are looking at a team that can be got at and have been got at under Jose. They, they still don't, they still, they concede far too many you goals for should, Jose Mourinho. In side. typical Spurs way, you just don't know what you're going to get. No, you don't. You have no idea. Spurs could turn up and they could lose 2-0 to Villa. Mm-hmm. I can see that. But I could also see Spurs turn up and be like, right, okay, let's go. And let's let's kick on from here. Big up, um, Man City playing West Ham. The significance of those who were who play Dream Team. Um, yeah, a postponed fixture which is going to be added to week twenty. Yeah, so it's still in the same it's still in the same game week for fantasy football players. Um, which is good if you've got say Aguero, Captain and Mares. Yeah, yeah, that would be so, good. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is, you need. You would need those points if you also if you've got KDB. You would need. Um, I think that'll be a significant game because I think that West Ham are going to get walloped. Yeah, potentially. I West do Ham not are trust in, in West Ham, and I don't know right the answer they've got on. No, I it's, mean, I don't know what they're trying to do. West Ham are better than they're showing. Um, they haven't had the same. They haven't had the same impact that Moyes did first time around. Now I know we know a West Ham fan. Who, when Moyes was appointed, we made the comment on our social media at a touchline rant that Moyes did a good job first time around. We didn't know why they got rid of him. And then when you actually look at what he did and the stats and the wins and things like that, it wasn't as good as I remember. You're I, a Moyes fan, you? I didn't. No, I remembered it. Sounds better. like you are. Well, Moyes was very. I didn't think that he should have been sacked by West Ham first time around. I thought he did a decent job. I think he deserved to stay on. But Pellegrini, it didn't go well under him. But Moyes has not had the same impact the second time around. Definitely not. West Ham are looking very, very dodgy. Uh, I will keep my comments about what West Ham are going to do for the next section because that's the roundup of the league. But can we... I'm agree- in go, agreement with you, go, Man City, West Ham. Can we, Chelsea, can we do Chelsea versus Man United? Do that? Yeah. Um, what Chelsea... What, what United are you going to get? Uh, I don't know. I, I have a sneaking suspicion. If I'm going with my gut right now, I think you're going to get a very positive United, this, this fixture. Um... I think that they will score goals against this Chelsea side, which would be mystic, lovely to mystic, see. Mystic Meg, yeah. Yeah, I think they will score goals. That decision. Uh, I would suggest that they they may not even concede. I, I reckon Man United might get like a 1 or 2 nil here. And then that would be the up. Oh my God, the Manchester United roller coaster is back on the ascendance. So I'm and then against bang, you. Bang, you I think Tammy's going to get you. It could do, but Chelsea are all over the place at the back. They're all over the place. And they have been, they've shown... And United are an attacking force to reckon with. Uh, on the break, they're much better than Chelsea, yes. A Chelsea, Man United do one thing well. That's literally one thing. And if it doesn't work, they look awful. But Manchester United are very good this season at catching teams very quickly on the counter. 2-0 Chelsea, saying it, calling it. Okay, I'll say a Man United Rudiger's going to come in, bang. Yeah, it, look, I can see Chelsea doing it, but I Man United are very, very good at... Quickly attacking teams on the counter. That is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's one and only tactic. If it works, they beat Man City like we saw. We, they beat, put four goals past Chelsea on the opening game of the season. They they beat Spurs. They beat Man City. They beat these sides. And then when it doesn't work, they lose to West Ham. Do you know what I mean? And it all... It all hinges 
is on how Chelsea set up. If Chelsea set up to soak up the pressure and try and hit United on the break, I think they'll lose. And the week after that, then they'll play Spurs. The week after that, yeah, 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 United yeah. lose. It's, 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 you never know what you're going to get with this, but I just have something in my gut says Man United are going to win. Something about it. Should get out. Yeah, I should probably. <laughs> Right then, let's have a look at FIFA Ultimate Team. It's basically people are trying to get it promoted, uh, pushed into the same umbrella as gambling. Because if for those who aren't aware, FIFA Ultimate Team allows you to, you have you get given a random team from packs that you open. Um, and then quickest way of getting more packs and therefore improving the quality of your team is to buy them. Now, you purchase them using real money. That is a detrimental effect, right? And that goes into mental, physical well-being and everything else, right? Yeah. From a personal, like, personal point of view, that is certainly the case. Mm -hmm. On the big, on the wider scale, yeah. it could absolutely ruin the sports that you love. Any sport. So if we take football, for example, if there's bets being taken, if it, we're talking about betting and gambling, yeah. if there's bets behind the scenes from players, from staff, from managers, whoever, yeah. It will impact our beautiful game. It will impact the sports that we love. So that's the biggest scale problem that we've got. And I personally have with gambling as well as the moral uh, side of it from a personal perspective on on us functioning with the, or whoever, the people who can't afford it. Yeah. So there's a bigger picture to take into consideration which comes with gambling. Baby, baby! <laughs> out of you but i won't get 100 percent out unless you think 100 percent. thank you very much to bendy Gedig media producers of this podcast that is what other podcasts there? they also uh, are involved with heavy mental podcasts oh, that's a good one that's a very good one check that out on itunes spotify mm, everywhere you get your pods so heavy. heavy mental podcast shredded wheat is 100 percent whole wheat no added sugar or salt you're 100 percent you're i told you not to eat three get off shredded wheat Flicking my switch.